So guys, how's it going? My name is Fedor and on my left, this wonderful, smiling, funny, very wise, very nurturing, <laughs> Nurturing? Beautiful. That's a new one! <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, your name is... Victoria! And today, we do a part two of answering your question. Yes, part two, part two, part two! <laughs> For those of you that missed out on part one, we did another Instagram poll on our uh, channel, Fedor underscore Victoria, mm -hmm. and now we are here to answer your question. Yes, and to get to our Instagram, there's a link in the description. Yes. So, the first question is... Who fell in love first? Me? You're lying. You fell in love first, didn't you? I think you fell in love first. I think... Okay, you know what? Okay. <laughs> I think it was about the same time. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. So... I... Okay. You say your side and I say okay. my side. Here's how it happened. Toward the end of the first freshman year, we kind of uh, hung out toward the end a lot. Yeah. And so we really liked each other. And over the summer, we were FaceTiming. That's when I got my first iPhone because when I went to my freshman year, I had a DJ, hey, yes. a camera is blurry even if it's best quality. He literally had was, some terrible trap phone that like could only make a few calls. Because when I got there, my actual phone stopped working. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I had I a good phone. That. It wasn't an iPhone, but yeah. anyway, I got my first iPhone <laughs> toward uh, June time, and we started FaceTiming almost like maybe every three no, days maybe. or something, right? It was right? like April. No, I was home. I know you were FaceTiming when we were at home and... It was about June. I got it for my birthday. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay All okay. right, it's my side of the story, not okay, yours. Okay, okay. And though, and, and though we've been FaceTiming for a while, it took us about, like, what, two months, I think, towards August, that I said, you know what? Victoria, I think I love you. Yeah. Well, it's been great. We've been talking a lot. And I think that's when you said, I love you too. That's actually how it went down. I thought you were going to forget. Ah! It, it was... <laughs> It was on FaceTime. It was the cutest thing. And ap like after you said, I don't even think were we boyfriend and girlfriend yet. No. Yeah, we weren't boyfriend and, you and girlfriend said, yet. We're gonna call each other boyfriend and girlfriend when you meet my parents. Exactly. And then, <laughs> and then in the beginning of uh, sophomore year, second year of university, they came came yeah. to Hampton. I met them. Went out for for lunch. Play school. tennis. Remember, play, play tennis, tennis with my mom. Yes. And that is like started off your little tennis. Love, friendship, uh, bond, bond, yeah. bond. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's it. Next question. Yeah, actually, next question because you said everything right. So I'll go ahead and read it, baby. Do you have any tips for someone who wants to become an actor? I have a lot of tips. Yeah, no, I, I, go ahead. we have a lot of tips. First, I would say we talked about this in the other videos. Go to my parents' business, RolandActingStudio.com. All right. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm for one of my parents like no other. So um, I don't know if I ever talked about my parents' work like deeply, but my dad is a director. He just finished a Marvel film being an acting coach, and my mom is also traveling with him being yes. um, an actress and an acting coach. Yes. So if you really want um, acting lessons, go on their website, rollingactingstudios.com. We'll put it in the description below. And they teach all over the world. And if you can't reach their classes in the yes. certain states and countries that they're in, mm -hmm. they also offer Zoom courses. So like if you're going out for an audition and you just don't know how to read the character, yeah. my dad is an expert yes. of breaking it down. And if you want a female perspective, my mom is also yes. like the queen of acting. Yes. So yeah, I just literally shouted them <laughs> out. But <laughs> Yes. But uh, the key about them is that they're not gonna play you guys. No. Victoria's dad is on set every, every single day. year. Yeah. Not, not every day, every, but you know, he's yeah. coaching, but then he's on set as well. So yeah. he knows firsthand how it's happening. And he's also been a casting director. He's also been into casting stuff. Yeah. So he knows how people cast, how people get cast for a show, for a movie. Yeah. So he will tell you exactly, you know, full real, real life kind yeah. of information versus somebody who is only knows it in theory and went to or school in theater. 30 years ago in, in theater, in theory, in theater, <laughs> went to school 30 years ago and still coaching, you know? Mm -hmm. So he's going to be the real deal. Check them out. From the yeah. And we'll put their IMDB just in case you want to see a little more no, references. You can, you can find all that on their website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. How do you stay connected with family in Russia, Zoom, FaceTime, and oh. weekly call, etc.? So, yeah, you can touch on that yeah. first. But. Well, um, of course, I have my family back home in Russia. Yeah. We live in the States. 
and I have all of my family and all of my friends back home. Yeah. I don't have, uh, of course, your family here, but <laughs> I don't really have good friends here because I didn't need them. I have my friends back home. Yeah. There was really no need for me to create new friendships like that. So, of course, with my best friends, we have the same business. We're fluent. We're doing it all together. So we're talking about it every single day. Throughout mm -hmm. that BeFluent talk, we'll also talk about our personal lives and yeah. things like that. So I talk to my friends every single day. Every No free. exception. I'll wake up in the morning of him on the computer dying laughing at it, like <laughs> of what they're talking about. Or they'll be like streaming on a game. Yeah, Like they literally games. talk for hours, which yes. is great. <laughs> <laughs> and then with my family, I think it's about once a week, I call them. Yeah. We have a family chat where we all kind of talk, but it's not like of a, course like... Um, group chat. Yeah, group chat. Yeah, yeah. So it's not, of course, like that active, but I'll call my parents yeah. every, every weekend. Call my brother every maybe three weeks. No. Yeah, every three weeks, maybe every month. You talk to him every, every, at least every week. He'll call. No. Recently, yes. Mm -mm. No. I think every so. Month. Every time I come downstairs, I'm like, who are you talking to? I'm talking to my brother a lot. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, I talk to them a lot and we are pretty close as a family. Yes, and same as well, like if... I'm like looking right or even if I'm looking crusty, I'll talk to your mom because yeah. we're at that stage now where if she's looking a hot mess, I'm looking a hot mess, we'll still get on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next question is, are you guys thinking about having kids anytime soon? Love you so much, by the way. Thanks, wh whoever wrote that. Yeah. Are you guys thinking about having kids anytime soon? No, 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 no. <laughs> we do want kids. <laughs> Yo, we have to create our future first. I love yes. kids. We both want a lot of kids. Yeah, but, it's about 15, right? Yeah, about 15 or 20. <laughs> but um, no, I'm just kidding. We want at least three minimum, four maximum. We'll, we'll, we'll play we'll by see, ear. We'll see. We'll see when we ear. get there. But yeah, uh, we just have to really create a foundation for our ourselves lives. first. Yeah. We probably in, not in the right city for ourselves yet. We're not, we really want to try different things and it would be impossible to do with kids. Yeah. So we're gonna wait it out until we actually are ready for it. I don't think we are now, we're still too, too young kids. Yeah, I, we are still too young kids trying to take care of ourselves. Yes. You're trying to, you take care of me, I take care of you. And yeah, not, I, I don't wanna say not anytime soon, but at this moment, just not right now. Yes, You know, that's not where we're at, not, not right now. Yeah. Next question. How do you educate each other on racial and ethnic differences? That's a good one right there. We just had a deep talk about, about one of the issues. Yeah. So we can really, it's, it's fresh. Go ahead. It's really fresh. I don't want to say like exactly what we talk about because it's very personal yeah, to yeah, us. But it does regard like Fedor um, wanting to learn more about black culture yeah. and everything that has happened in America mm -hmm. um, of our African-American history and same with Russian, Russian history. history. So for example, if our president is like <laughs> saying some BS about Russia, I'll Russia be like, is this, Russia is that. Yeah, Russia is this, Russia is that. The Russians have this, the Russians have that. I'll ask Fedor, uh, uh, or well, I even had conversations with your dad and your yeah. dadushka, and they'll be like, that's false, that is false, yes. American propaganda, and I'll be like, mm -hmm. okay, because I accept that they know more about their culture than I do, of course, right. because they lived it. So it's just, I accept that I'm ignorant to a lot of yeah. things because I've grown up in America and they taught me certain, certain things. Certain things. Certain things. So that's yeah. how I would say. And same to me, really. I just know that I'm ignorant to a lot of the things that have, yeah. have happened here and the way that, you know, different things happen in America and how people feel in, in America because I have my own outlook on life, my yeah. own outlook on society. I think this is the right way. Sometimes it's not the right way. And so we sometimes are. are <laughs> perspectives clash, but that's why we have each other to talk about it, exactly. to really, you know, explore it. And most importantly is that if I am going to come in, talk about African American culture to, 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 to Victoria, or just simply American period, yeah. I cannot be, I, I know I'm right. This is my opinion. Yeah. Cause she lived here, right? Same about Russia. Yeah. Victoria would argue about some Russian stuff. I'm like I would argue. What are you talking about? I lived in Russia. I'm from Russia. What are you talking about? I know better than you, <laughs> so stop. Yeah. So sometimes, of course, our ego gets in the way, but it does. that's why we have each other to kind of say, okay, you yeah. know what? You're not right. Yeah, at the end of the day, we snap each other back to reality yes. and then we accept that we know what we're talking about. Yes. <laughs> What's the best part about marriage and has anything changed in your relationship since? I think our marriage is very unique because we got married and then virus hit. Yeah. The corona hit, and yeah. then that's it. That's pretty much yeah. it's been our marriage. So we've been really, very close to each other 
uh, with each other, living in the same space for the past, what, six, seven months? Yeah. So really not even and we've catching been a break. Thriving, y'all. <laughs> and we're not really catching a break from each yeah. other, which is hard at Good. So that was bad. Sometimes bad, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Um, it's been it's been great so far. I think nothing has changed really. We just I think explore more about each other, find out more about each other and find I think we really are now starting to find ways to live together and coexist yes. together without it being toxic or being exactly overwhelming. I don't think it was ever toxic. I would say it was a it little was overwhelming. Toxic. Like I feel like it <laughs> a little overwhelming in the beginning yeah. because like I said in the other video, I expected you to clean certain things and you expected we me to clean. We had certain expectations of each other that were not communicated. Exactly. But when we communicated to each other and yes. literally went through the arguments and now we have an understanding, now we have a chart, who does what, this person does this person does what yeah. so as long as you stay organized yes like you got it and we knew each other before we got married yeah which is even making our marriage even smoother because yes. some people don't know each other in it that's right don't be working out next question when did fedora know he wanted to marry you and why okay i never asked you oh, this question me. Yeah! Uh, i think it was never like a surprise <laughs> thing it was never like we didn't talk about it for the whole time and then Will you marry me? You know, we, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. always talked about this Always. Topic. Since our first conversation. Yeah. When we, yeah, 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 Before we started dating, when we became yes, friends, yes. we talked about it. What do you want in life? What do I want in life? And yeah. everything was adding up. So I think we just like, each year we kind of talked about it more and more and more. And we, it was never really truly my decision on when we're going to marry. Yeah. Right? Get married. Yeah. It was never my decision on, okay, oh, she doesn't know anything about it. I think it's going to be 2020. Right? Yeah. It was always like, okay. Are we ready? Do you think we should do it soon? Yeah. We always communicated that. Yeah. So it was never like a huge surprise that we got married at a certain time. Mm -hmm. However, she didn't, 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 however, she didn't expect the question when I popped it. So it was a great, I, it was I a great moment. <laughs> I didn't at all. Like, because we, we always discuss important topics, yes. like to the extent, like for hours yeah. and Fedor, just kept saying i'm just waiting for you to be done with school i'm just waiting for you to be done with school remember yes. like and he was like that's when i want to marry you so when i was about done <laughs> yes that's when it came yep. and i was shook because yeah. i wasn't finished finished so that's when the surprise yeah. came but i think we just always knew that we kind of meant for each other and that we really for sure really you know kind of we were on the same page at all times yeah there was never any huge arguments like actually actual ever bad arguments no Never. it was, was like a little all, bit it was upset so for, for about three hours and then we're back <laughs> on good terms That's yeah it. exactly <laughs> all right next question favorite activities to do together and are you watching any shows currently favorite activities i would say that when we work out together i absolutely love it yes because we never like actually go hard. We can talk and walk exactly. and stuff. Exactly. So, yes. so we take long walks um, yeah. in the morning or actually kind of at night. And then also when we play tennis, Fedora's currently teaching me how to play tennis. Yes. And I would say that's a new activity that we are trying to do together. Yes. And he's teaching me how to do pull-ups. Guys, I used to be an athlete, but now I'm garbage. Yes. So <laughs> he's trying so to get me back. Working out and watching shows would be the one that you asked about the shows. Yeah. Right now we're watching Impractical Jokers. <laughs> Literally, show. we used to watch this all the time yeah. um, when we were doing our masters, but yeah. We just got back to it now. Yeah, we just got back to it yeah. now. Why did Fedora go to an HBCU? Okay. We'll talk about this in our other videos, so y'all gotta start keeping up. Yes, HBCU chose me. Say uh, that again. <laughs> Ooh, say that again. <laughs> so I applied to many schools and I sent in my tennis video to play tennis for them, asking for some scholarship. In America. In the States, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But. Hampton University, being an HBCU, is just a coincidence. It yeah. really was one of the 10 schools that offered me something, but they yeah. were the only one offer, offer me a full scholarship and a Division One school. Others were Division Two, Division Three, half scholarships, not gonna cut it for me. And then I was like, you know what? Let's go. And <laughs> after I already accepted it, I have found out that it's an HBCU, but yeah, it didn't really phase me too much. Yeah, it didn't change your, your decision. People are yeah. like super shocked. Yes, yeah. HBCUs accept other races. So of a lot course. of people don't know that either. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so when, when they said, oh, it's an HBCU, I was like, you know. Okay. It, it is what it is. <laughs> doesn't like, matter to me. Though. Exactly. Yeah. Whether it was a purple school or a green school. Yeah, sure. All right, next question. <laughs> purple school, uh-huh. Okay. Go ahead. Do you believe in destiny and the law of attraction? You answer first. 
Um, because I'm still trying to think of my answer. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that Destiny is kind of like I don't. I don't know. I, I really have no answer to, to that. Like that. Well, I think that if you do your best, me? if you do your best, you're gonna get the best. Yeah, I, we're very spiritual people, so yeah. I, as long as you put it out there, we believe that you're gonna receive it back. And yeah. as long as you talk to God and pray, like you're gonna be fine in life. So yep. that's literally our motto. What are your astrology signs? I'm a I don't Do you know even the names. know what you are? I don't know the names in He English. is a crazy Gemini. Gemini. His birthday is May 30th. And is your 31st, like. <laughs> and you're what? You better say my cancer? birthday on the thing. Yeah, I'm a Cancer. It's not your birthday, but I, I don't know the What's sign. What's my birthday? July 13th. Are you joking? <laughs> 12. Did you look at the camera? Hmm? <laughs> July 12th. Next question. Are you sure what that answer? Because <laughs> yes, that's it. July 12th. I know it. He's always playing games with me like he forgets my birthday and it makes me furious. <laughs> yes. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for asking your questions and also watching this video. We hope that this was cool, fun, informative, educational, <laughs> amazing, entertaining. <laughs> I was waiting for you. <laughs> and if you guys didn't get a chance to ask any questions, don't forget to follow our Instagram because we literally put polls up there sometimes yep. so we can answer all the questions and that interact you guys with y'all yes interact with you guys daily comment and yeah comment and subscribe on our youtube video see as well see you in the next one <laughs> baka, baka. Baka.